Hey guys, Angus here bringing another video today. As you can see out on the range, a little bit of different setup behind me. We'll get into that in a second. But we do have a shooting test today. Today's shooting test is going to be of a definitely cool pistol. Interesting getting a nice sidearm. It's definitely going to be intimidating. We got one right here. This is the KWC CO2 Blowback Desert Eagle, licensed by Cybergon with full trades from IWI and Magnum Research on here. Again, CO2 Blowback pistol, meaning the slide will come back, and this gun does have a lot of kick on it. We are going to be doing our shooting test out here today, and I do have some good news. There is very minimal wind, so today's shooting test is not going to be affected by the wind as usual. But if there was wind, a uh, viewer suggested this to me. Put a flag here to show you guys the wind. As you can see, not moving at all. There really is no wind out here today. It's dead silent, not even a slight breeze. And behind us, we do have the usual target. Smaller than the crouching man, this target is going to be what we're shooting at with the Desert Eagle. You know, for the shooting test, we do have our magazine loaded up with TSD 0.2 gram BBs, considering there's no wind. We should be good with using just the 0.2s. And we do have a CO2 cartridge in here that's been in here for quite a while. However, this gun, when it's not in use, seems to not eat up CO2 like other pistols. So you could probably have this in storage for maybe a day before you take it out again. It still should have that CO2 in there. It doesn't leak at all. So that's a bit of a pro right there. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the shooting test of the KWC Desert Eagle. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the shooting test. First up, we're going to have 25 feet. This is premium pistol distance, in my opinion, with this Desert Eagle. If you were to plan to use this in CQB as a primary, or even out in the field as a primary, this would be an ideal range. 25 feet, let's see if we can hit this target with this semi-automatic Desert Eagle. As I mentioned in earlier videos, this is supposed to have fully automatic, but unfortunately it does not. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. As you can see, 25 feet, you're going to have no trouble hitting your target. I think we're starting to run a little bit low on CO2 here already. But as you can see, 25 feet, you're going to have no trouble hitting your target. All right, we're now back at 45 feet. Let's go ahead and shoot at our target again, semi-automatic, and see what we can do. All right, so at 45 feet, as you can see, you're gonna be able to hit your target. As I mentioned, we are running a little bit low on CO2, so BB is not exactly reaching its full potential, but you are gonna be able to hit your target at 45 feet with that full CO2 cartridge. We have this gun fully gassed up. As you can see, starting to curve over a little bit. It's a couple of them went over the top. You should definitely be using you should definitely be using .25s in this gun, as with basically all pistols. You can even go to .3s if you want. With those BBs, it should be right on target. But .2s, again, they're a little too light for a gun, especially one with this much kick, as I'll show you later in the video. But 45 feet, you're still going to be able to hit your target, especially if it's a man-sized target. This pistol can definitely take out someone at 45 feet. All right, now for 75 feet, I actually ran out of CO2 as I started to do the original test, so I figured, what the heck, put a new CO2 cartridge in, got a fresh CO2 cartridge in here, and I also put .25 in the magazine so that we can uh, see what we'd actually be hitting using the correct BB weight in this gun. So 75 feet, let's see if we can hit our target. And we're out of BBs. On a fresh CO2 cartridge, as, I sh as I'll show you in a couple seconds, the kick is so powerful, it seems this gun's ejecting into BBs very quickly. Even those .25 seem to be too light, as you probably could see, or at least I could see. Some were just curving straight up because the kick on this gun is so powerful. That first CO2 cartridge, yeah, they're going to be very powerful. They're going to send those BBs straight up. So you might even want to put .3s in the first magazine you shoot out of this with a fresh CO2 cartridge. So .25s at about this distance, 75 feet, you're going to be able to hit your target a good percentage of the time. And keep in mind, guys, your target will be a lot bigger than that one. So 75 feet, you can definitely get a kill with this Deagle. Just, you know, so I'd you recommend guys, a general little higher, sense how far we are out, about 75 feet, as you can see. Just to get, show you guys the kick on this gun, I'm going to do a little bit of shooting, empty out the mag right now. This is on a brand new fresh CO2 cartridge. And let me show you how it fires. As you can see, I only had two rounds left, but as you can see, quite the powerful kick on the weapon. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the final conclusion right now from right here. Don't, don't bother dragging the tripod all the way back to the camera. 
And I must say I'm impressed with the Deagle's accuracy. I'm not a big pistol shooter, so usually when I pull out my pistol in a game, it's pretty much my last thing. I'm just going to pull this out, see you, not really aim, just bang, 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 try and get you out. A lot of times I do get you out, but typically not really going for accurate shots with my pistol. Now this gun's iron sights are very accurate. I was using the iron sights the entire time, looking down on them in those first couple distances. I was easily able to hit my target looking down the iron sights. 75 feet, that definitely helped me with the iron sights. One thing I do want to point out before I get into the actual distance, this gun does have an adjustable spin-up system, the hop-up. Um, and it was set to zero for the shooting test, so you might want to adjust your hop-up to prevent those curvages or those drops or those suddenly shoot-ups. But make sure you adjust your hop-up. 25 feet, anything's going to shoot 25 feet. Of course you're going to hit your target. CQB field, he's done. 45 feet, you're going to be able to hit your target again. We are running out of CO2, and as you can see with the point twos, starting to curve off a little bit. But... 45 feet, you're going to be able to hit your target with the Deagle. 75 feet, this is where I was hoping we were going to get some kills with this .25s. But the first shots out of this gun with the fresh CO2 cartridge, it's too powerful. For .25s, they're too light. you got to put at least .3s in here in order to be able to hit your target. That's one of the cons, I believe. It has a beautiful amount of kick, but it's very, very powerful. And it definitely, it definitely puts some strain on a lighter BB. Unless you probably have, you know, .3s, I'd say... You know, you're not going to be able to hit your target very often at 75 feet with a fresh CO2 cartridge unless you have a higher gram BB. But we still were able to hit it at 75 feet a decent percentage of the time. This is an accurate pistol, guys. If you took the time to adjust your hop up, put some higher gram BBs in there, maybe 0.3s, 0.28s, you're probably going to be able to hit your target every time, whether you're in CQB or you're just pulling this out field to take that guy out because your primary round out of ammo. So the overall final conclusion here of the KWC Desert Eagle licensed by Cyrion with full trade from IWI Magnum Research. It's an accurate gun. As you guys know, I'm not always the best at doing shooting tests because frankly, sometimes I just can't hit the dag on target. We saw some consistent accuracy here. You're going to be able to hit your target as long as you use higher gram BBs. And I'd recommend, you know, definitely the power on this gun. So you do want to use those heavier BBs. Don't try using point twos in it for those farther distances because you're not going to be able to hit your target. So with that being said, this has been the final conclusion of Death Core Airsoft shooting test of the KWC Cybergun licensed CO2 blowback Desert Eagle.